has not been creating jobs at the new level, the small business level. And that is where the new jobs come from. 75% of the new jobs in this country come from small business. So it's crucial that we address the problems of small business. And I'm particularly concerned about what happened in the governor's proposal, which has the direct impact on small business of doing away with a tax cut. When you look at small business, people say, well, gee, Chapter C corporations, that's what business is. No, in small business, about 90% turn on the sub S designation. And so it's important that those people have the opportunity to create new jobs and to do so in an atmosphere that is going to continue their investment. I think one of the things that I would have expected differently from this governor at this point would be some explanation of how we started out on one side of an issue and ended up on the opposite side of it in a mere 10 months. And for example, we know that the governor was opposed to any new fees. He said that fees were the same as taxes. That's perceptive. That was before we had 134 new fees in his budget. And I've been talking to some of the hospitals around the state, and that constitutes about 40% of their the bottom line. It's gone to the state of Ohio. We have once we got through the problem of knowing that the governor was opposed to fees instead of taxes, that was before he was in favor of fees instead of taxes. And we then ran into the difficulty that we faced with taxes, period. And of course, in that particular case, the turnaround was remarkable. We also had a situation in which the governor said that he was opposed to gambling in Ohio because it wasn't good for Ohio. A lot of us agreed with that, but then suddenly it came time for VLTs, and while we were opposed to gambling in the first place, we were in favor of it later. Those flip-flops have caused problems of credibility, even at the local level, where people have to have confidence in order to pass levies or, or uh, prepare more income tax in, in urban areas, and he has undermined the ability uh, some of the local governments to do what has to be done for growth in Ohio. I think the other thing that I was particularly uh, troubled by uh, in the speech was the idea that we had come to the end of the road in improving education in Ohio. We have the most magnificent education system in the world, I guess, according to the governor's speech today. I don't think so. I've spent a lot of time studying, for example, the Cleveland Public Schools over the years, and I don't think that that is a marvelous uh, operation up there. I think we have a lot of very serious problems in the education area. We obviously are spending a heck of a lot more money, but we have spent a great deal more money ever since the uh, Perry County case came up. The Republican-led legislature, year after year, increased the amount of general revenue fund money that was spent on primary and secondary education. And this year, for the first time, for the first time in that period of time, there was a cut in general revenue fund financing for the school. Ohio faces challenges and problems. There's no question about it. I don't think that the speech we heard today is going to be particularly helpful unless you are a candidate for office on the same ticket with the governor and found that the information imparted was useful. 